was over 60 years ago at Gisborne Boys High School that Doug Callahan's interest in trampolining was sparked by the school's PE teacher, John McFarlane. He built the first trampoline way back in the days when I was um, 15, 16. He built, built it out of steam pipe and canvas and rubber tubes for, for springs. And that's where I've got into trampolining. Doug and his brother started off doing gymnastics, but found their true passion was trampoline. I've got a twin brother. He went on to go into competitions. Later on, I went into coaching. His brother John went on to become a New Zealand champ, and Doug went on to be a New Zealand coach. Gisborne Trampoline Club started in 1972 in the YMCA building. As the club got bigger, they moved to three other buildings before finding their home in the Electronet Sports Centre 30 years ago. I asked them if they'd like to sell it and they said yes and we bought it for 100000 and from there we never looked back. Coaching for more than 50 years, Doug has a very impressive resume including a Queen's Service Medal. I've coached so many kids go to the World Champs um, as a New Zealand coach. I'm very proud to, to become a New Zealand coach. I'm too old for that now to travel overseas, but I got a Queen's Service medal. I was very proud of because I was the only one in trampolining that has, has one. Callahan's wife Marilyn has been the club's secretary treasurer from day one, and he says it wouldn't be standing without her. Built the club up from, from nothing. We had to fundraise to get the trampolines, slowly built it up to where it is now. Doug has been told he needs a hip replacement. However, the risk factors are too high for him to get the operation. Yet he still spends five to seven days a week at the gym coaching. In no time am I going to give it up because I enjoy so much of coaching kids. Even though I'm uh, 76, keep coaching as long as I can. He's a good coach. Sucks that he can't stand at the tramp. It's okay. He's helped me a lot. 16 year old Lily Arnold recently returned from the Australian Nationals and has qualified for the World Champs in Birmingham. And Lily Arnold, who's my top trampolinist, she made finals in four apparatuses. And the Australian Nationals is really hard. And, but uh, she did well for her first international competition. So I've qualified for everything, but I just need to be selected for the New Zealand team. And I think it's like four girls in my, in my age that can go. Lily was named the club's best all-round trampolinist and recently won gold in her age group at the North Island Tumbling Champs. A very big thing is like consistency. If you don't stay on the tramp, then you're probably going to have like a less chance of being selected. But if you stay on the tramp for every comp and you're like consistent with your routines, then you're most likely going to be selected. 15 of the Gisborne Trampoline Club athletes have qualified for the New Zealand Nationals, which is going to be held at Trust Power Bay Park Arena in Tauranga. It's where everyone around like New Zealand from the North Island and South Island come to compete against each other. For that, I will be doing tumbling, tramp, and double mini. Um, some people do backflips like this. Oh, up. Oh. And then stand up. Okay, let's try that. So, what? I have to do a. Nine-year-old Portia Warren-Hillman started the sport three years ago. She won two gold medals in her age group at last month's North Island Champs. Tumble is, there's like a really bouncy mat and you just do like flip flicks and tuck backs and round offs and stuff. And for tramp, I would just say it's a trampoline and you do tricks on there. I start them off early and then you pick out the odd one that's really good, like Porsche, who is now right up there with all the top ones, but she, next year she'll be able to travel internationally. So you did bum, knee, stomach, back. Oh, you went over and then, what's the last part? What did you add on?
With the Nationals on the cards, there's no slowing down for Callaghan. We have a lot of training. Um, I will probably have a lot of extra training with all the kids, make sure that they are right before they go to the Nationals. Renee Lola here, Local Focus.